some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in Ohio where the officers have responded to a call of an intoxicated woman wreaking havoc in a parking lot. And when she is confronted about it, she pretty much name drops a senator and says that he'll be coming after them. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And she asked to cash out and then expressed she was going to drive home. And we, all of the employees told her, like, you can't drive home. And then she went to call somebody on her phone. Her phone fell out of her hands. And then she tried to stumble out the door. Um, okay. Anyone on duty? Just stay right there. Don't get out. Yeah. Can I help you? Like literally. Okay. I should I'm stay in your car. Literally ready to go home. Okay. Walk to the front of my cruiser here. Sure. Just have a seat right here on the push bars. How much have you had to drink tonight? I've had four drinks. Go ahead and have a seat on the push bar here for me. Do you think that you're okay to be driving? I would literally like to go home. I live a mile from okay. here. Do you think that you should be driving? Ooh, ooh, I'll answer that question. Uh, no, she's not uh, ready to drive yet. I mean, clearly she's stumbling drunk, intoxicated. I mean, even if she lived one mile away, she's still a danger on the freaking roads. But of course, in her intoxicated state, she uh, clearly doesn't understand any of that. But let's continue on and see what she has to say about her state. I think that I'm ready to go home. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Okay, because you're slurring your speech, you're unsteady on your feet, your eyes are glassy and bloodshot, and I can smell the alcohol on you. And now you're saying that you had four drinks? It doesn't sound like you're okay to be driving. I literally just want to go home. I understand that. Where is your driver's license at? In my car. In your car? Are you the owner of the car? Yes. Okay. Have you ever been arrested for OVI? No. Okay. Okay. Who's at your house right now? My children. Okay. Is there anyone, an adult that'd be able to come pick you up when we're all done with this process? Yeah, there's two adults. Okay. Just have a seat right here on the push bars. Don't go anywhere. Just stay right here with this officer. Okay. You understand that? Sure. All right. A little longer than a few minutes later. <clears throat> all right. Why are you so upset with everyone? Why am I so upset? Yeah. Uh, because this is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. You're extremely intoxicated. No, I'm not. And you shouldn't be driving. No, I'm actually not. Okay. Are you willing to perform field sobriety tests? Sure. Okay. Can you stand up straight for me? Put your feet together. Hands on your chin. Are you wearing contacts? No. Is it okay if this officer puts your vape in the, in the car? Sure. Okay. You want to hand it to him? So when we're all done with this, my plan is to get you home tonight, okay? Yeah. But listen, we can't have you out here screaming and cussing at people. I wasn't cussing at anyone. I just literally wanted you to You just home. did. You just did. Are you kidding me? And you're cussing again. Listen, all I'm saying is our goal is to get you home when we're all done with this, okay? Can you not uh, yell and cuss at people? Can you do that for me? I wasn't yelling and cussing okay. at anyone. I then you got nothing to worry about then, right? When I tell you to, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down that line, turn, and then take nine heel to toe steps back down that line. Okay. You understand that so far? Whatever you want me to do. Do you understand that so far? Sure. All right, I'm going to demonstrate by taking three steps. Remember, sure. you're going to take nine. All right, are you watching? Can, like, I just like, literally end up this? How do we end this? Well, this can end one of several ways. The first major way is that you actually act like an adult and take the sobriety test and well you get the possibility of going home if you actually pass it the alternative is to just get arrested for uh your incompetence but you know what with you i foresee the uh ladder right here getting arrested for uh operating a vehicle while intoxicated thus you're a sheer incompetence do you want How to, do we end this? Do you want to perform the test or not? No, I literally want to end this. Okay, you're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Put your palms together. Put your palms together for me. Okay. Just like you're clapping. And why am I under arrest? You're under arrest for OVI. Uh, for what? Well, you're under the influence of alcohol. Mm, okay. And literally why? 
What is the problem? You're drinking and driving. You're f you. To the point where you can't Literally care for yourself. Hey, you. remember what I said. If you want to be released, you can't be yelling and cussing at me. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. You know what? Literally, I'm going to get Senator Brenner and I'm going to get literally well now aren't you special name dropping a senator uh question do you actually know this senator or have you had any contact with them whatsoever because well uh name dropping a senator uh most in most cases really doesn't work because well the senators don't actually know them so good try F you literally oh. You. Can you open You're, your mouth for me? Oh, I can open anything you want. I just want you to open your mouth. I gotta make sure nothing in your mouth. Lift your tongue straight up. Okay. Literally, you people. I'm okay. gonna literally destroy you, just so you know. Okay. You're gonna have a seat right back here. Okay. 67. 67. Because why? Go 335. Because Priors, I what? I what? Thank you. Because I what? Why am I under arrest? For OVI. For OVI, why? Have a seat, ma'am. Have a seat. You don't know what you just did. Just so you know. Well, we placed you under arrest for OVI. Okay. I'm going to tow the car. All right, I'm gonna read you this form. It's now good. you can get away from me and I will talk to my lawyer. I have to read this now? to you. I have, no. to, I have to show it to you and now? read it to you. No, I want my okay. lawyer. That's fine. But I'm, no. gonna, I'm gonna read you this form. No, though. I don't care. I want my lawyer. Okay, I'm gonna read you this form. No. You can follow along if you'd like. This is the con okay. and refusal. Literally, f you. You're now under arrest for okay. operating a vehicle under the influence of alcohol, I, a drug or combination of them. I didn't operate any vehicle. Operating a vehicle under the, under the influence of illicit can control substance. Controlled substance, operating Go a vehicle away. after under alcohol consumption, off. or having physical control of a vehicle while under the influence. Your Ohio driving privileges will be suspended okay. immediately. Literally, if you have a prior conviction OVI or lawyer. operating a vehicle while under the influence of illicit control substance or illicit metabolite control substance under state with the law, you within know what? 20 you years. can f you're now under arrest for state OVI. And, you and if you refuse to take a chemical lawyer. test, you'll face my increased penalties if you are convicted of the state OVI. Ready for me right now. If you take any chemical test required by law and are found to be at or uh, over you different can give alcohol, me a chemical test right a now. control substance or metabolic control substance in you your whole blood, blood serum, or breath, or you're in a set by law, your Ohio driving privileges. Yeah. If you have privileges reinstated, okay. if you refuse the breath test with no priors, give me a breath test. I don't care. Your license will be suspended for I don't one year. Give a shit. If you take the test, test at or above point zero eight, care. your license are for ninety days. Do you understand that? I don't care. Do you understand that? I literally don't get it. So if you refuse, it's a one-year suspension. Positive I test, 90-day suspension. I didn't refuse anything. I haven't refused anything. I'm asking if you understand that. You're literally putting me under arrest for nothing. For nothing. You're under arrest for OVI. Okay. It's a simple question. Do you understand that if you refuse, it's a one-year suspension? I understand. And okay. I want my lawyer. Do you want to take a breath test? Sure. Okay. We'll go back go to the right police ahead. department and we'll do a breath test. Sure. Yep. You can give me whatever the f*** you want. I literally don't care. Okay. We're gonna end up taking you to jail because you're I yelling and cussing at us. So you're gonna you. you're gonna go to jail. I don't care. We'll go to the police department for a breath test and take you, you know to jail. What? It's fine. I don't care. I just wanna go in there with me. Well, that's the end of the video, folks. I mean, uh, her knight in shining armor, Senator, uh, came to her rescue and uh, took her back to his castle where they lived happily ever after in her fantasy delusional world. But, but in reality, she was charged with operating a vehicle while intoxicated and her license was suspended for about 120 days. So, yeah, there you go. The senator that you thought would come and help you uh, never showed up. But hey, better luck in the next life. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.